Hello there. My name is Malin Lewis and I'm a piper and fiddler from the west coast of Scotland. I have a number of different projects that I'm involved in um, and they usually go under the name of Malin Makes Music. I have a love for playing traditional music of all different styles and I also love composing. And last year I was lucky enough to be able to release my first book of tunes, um, of self pen tunes. So I'm really glad to be able to make this video for you um, for this great new project and the video that I'm going to be covering is Beginner's Tonality 1A. So for this I composed a waltz in A pentatonic. I'm going to talk you through a bit of the structure of how I went about composing the tune, the tonality and the rhythms of the tune. As a piper, I didn't get a lot of musical theory when I was growing up, as we only have nine notes on the pipes. So I am going to approach this very much from a the point of view of just what sounds good and what your ear can hear, um, and not so much on the kind of theory and the chords around it. I'm going to play you the first uh, part unrepeated, just so you can get an idea of it, and then we'll discuss a wee bit about the details in it. So, one... Two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> So I think first let's talk about the rhythms. For this tune I've used three or four rhythms. The first one is a minim, a long note, and two smaller ones, quavers. So we're playing a waltz, so we've got our beats which are one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then over the top we have the tunes rhythm. So that's our first rhythm. The second one is just a straight one, two, three. In this case. And then the third rhythm we have is a minim and a crotchet. So one, two, three, one, two. It's just a long one and then a shorter one. <laughs> so other than some long notes, that's all the rhythms we use in this. And I'm just mixing and matching them as I feel. But I think it's, for me, the easiest way is to start off with a long note and either one short one or two shorter ones. And that, to me, gives this really... Um, nice feel of a waltz that you can dance to and also emphasizes this rhythm of one two three one two three like that in terms of the structure the best thing i like to do is start with a and end with a a is the root or you can think of this note as home if you're in an a pentatonic you want to start and finish at home so for this you want to start in a and end in a if you're in G pentatonic, you want to start in G and end in G. So what happens in between is now the maybe more difficult bit. But I think the easiest thing is to just think about these phrases as four bars. So da dum ba do da ba dum ba da da. To me, you don't want to be back on your low note there where you started. You want to go somewhere else. Da. So we're, here we've gone to high A. Here we've gone to B, which is the second note in the scale. I think this is a really effective thing because it creates tension. That B wants to go back to the A because it's close but not quite home. And then you're back home. So have a go at just playing around with that, but try to aim for these different points. You want to kind of get somewhere interesting, visit someone else's house, visit a different home, visit a nice walk that you enjoy, and then return home at the end. Um, in terms of rhythms and the notes that you play, 
just try to keep it feeling relaxed and fluid, whatever comes to mind. Um, another good tactic can be try not to jump around too much. So try to use the note that's kind of beside the note. In this case, most of the things happen in small jumps, so... <laughs> For example, there, you're leading up to the high A. Da, 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 da. You're not just jumping straight from the C to the... It's not that it can't work, it's just it's a bit easier not to get lost this way. And... Those notes are nice and close together. Um, sometimes you have to break this rule, but it's quite a good way to start. Um... There you go. I'm going to play the tune for you all the way through so you can hear it and hopefully this helps you. All the very best with your composition and speak soon. Bye bye.